Barack Obama is one of the most gifted speakers on the world stage today. There are three things that Barack Obama does very well. Number one, effective body language that enhances the message. If we look at the 2004 Democratic National Convention where Barack Obama gave the keynote, the first thing you'll notice about him is how he strides up to the podium. He has energy and vitality and vigor. He uses a, an open palm, which is more of an inclusive gesture to wave to people. He has a firm, steady handshake and a smile on his face. He leaves a very positive impression in the first 20 seconds. He also used body language in other ways. So, for example, when he said that my presence on this stage is unlikely, he would bring his hand to his heart. Or when he said my grandfather had larger dreams for his son, he used an expansive gesture. Or when he said, in America, we can write what we think and say what we think without anybody knocking on the door. His body language reinforces the content of his message. Number three, rhetorical devices. For example, Barack Obama is very fond of telling personal stories. It shows empathy between him and his audience. So during the health care reform debate, he often tells the story of his mother, who died of ovarian cancer. In the last weeks of her life, when she was coming to grips with her own mortality and showing extraordinary courage just to get through each day, she was spending too much time worrying about whether her health insurance would cover her bills. It's a personal story that shows, I care, I understand. Another rhetorical device is repetition. Now this is where you use the same sequence of words in different sentences. So for Barack Obama, one of the most famous examples of repetition was during the primary when he lost to Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire. It was the famous Yes We Can speech. So he said it's a creed that sums up the spirit of the people. Yes we can. Yes we can. Yes we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can.